word that I love is called perseverance. Perseverance basically means quitting is not an option. It's not an option. If you really believe in what you're sitting here right now in front of us, telling us what you want to do with your lives, if you really believe in that, you must persevere to take this to the next level. You're going to come across challenges, you're going to come across obstacles. You're going to hit a wall. But you have options when you hit that wall. You can dig under it, you can go around it, you can climb over it, or you can break through it. Once you get out into that world, be respectful to everybody that you meet. Because nobody wants to be around a musician that's feeling themselves a little bit too much. Nobody wants that. And about being on time, have you heard the phrase oil spot? See, those of us that have been on tour, we know about this. Time is really, really important because the waste of it will drive every artist that I know absolutely crazy. An oil spot is when you're supposed to be there at 3 o'clock to catch your tour bus and you're late and all you see is the oil spot. My name is Andrea Pita. I am a fashion apparel design major and I'm minoring in musical theater. One thing that stood out to me was Christine when she talked about her philosophy and looking back in order to move forward in music. So I really love that, that inspired me. I also really loved Beth's idea of keeping your creativity because I feel like the music industry can be very intimidating and there's a fear in, for me personally in needing to sacrifice who I am in order to meet my goals. It's very easy when we're talking about all this legal stuff to start to feel just this deflated feeling like, wow, this is just really going to be hard and I'm not going to get paid and why would I do this? And, uh, and I want to reinstill in you uh, a sense of hopefulness. Nurture your inner creative you. You're here to be your creative genius self. And all this other stuff has to be dealt with, but don't let that stop you from doing what you were born to do and do your body of work. Do what you can deal with all this other stuff and you have to be responsible, you have to read the fine print, everything we're talking about here. But the most important thing for you not to do is to stop being creative. That's the number one thing. Because you can know everything about the music business and if you don't have a body of work to show somebody, then you don't have anything. My name is Malachi Williams. I am a jazz studies major here. I'm here in the, as part of an exchange program with my university back in the UK. For me, the most enlightening part for it was probably the legal aspect of it, learning about the copyright and how best to go about doing things with lawsuits and all those things. I had very little exposure and experience in it before, so getting told about it here was a great eye-opener for me. So I'm Matt. I'm here at Middle Tennessee State University. I'm studying business. Beth was talking about how we need to harvest our inner deepest profound meaning and through us put it onto our craft and our artwork because you don't want to be someone you're not, you want to be true to yourself, be unique, take the risk even if you, uh, you feel like people won't like it, be creative, there's a risk involved with creativity. Passion, you have to have passion for what you're doing. Everybody up here does something different. We all have passion for what we do because it's not always hot. There's lows in this business too, and your passion will sustain you.